The Ukrainian army continues its rapid and effective offensive operation. It has been confirmed that there have been very intense clashes in the Lubkova region in recent days. There were long and intense clashes between the Russian and Ukrainian army in and around this region. The Ukrainian army continues to attack Russian positions at different points and send support teams to the regions. The Ukrainian army launched the first attack in the Piatkanski direction. The location of the Piatkanski region is a plane, thinking that it was logical to attack. The Ukrainian army identified the target and launched a counterattack. Ukrainian army attacked this array using five armored vehicles and two tanks. Russian sources stated that Ukrainian troops could apply the same tactics in this region as they applied on the Zaporozhye front. By applying successful offensive strategies, the Ukrainian army can be more effective than heavy and short attacks. Ukraine is advancing in this region by destroying different defense units formed by the Russians. The clashes in the region lasted very long. The Ukrainian army repelled the Russians in the region in a controlled manner. The Ukrainian army, which repelled and chased the Russians towards the forest region, advanced rapidly in the region. The Ukrainian army repelled the Russians in the region but asked for support teams in order to be prepared for an attack and to be permanent in the region. The Ukrainian army, which strengthened its presence in the region with support teams, continued its counterattack with reinforcement from this region. As a result of intense and prolonged clashes, the Ukrainian army, which managed to repel the Russian, also repelled the Russian troops from the western part of the settlement.